Peggy 18. Hi and welcome to a gameplay walkthrough of an exclusive PlayStation VR 2 title, The Dark Pictures Switchback VR. We're here at Supermassive and we've been joined by Alejandro. Hi. Hello, I'm Alejandro Arque Gallardo. I'm the game director of Switchback VR. We're going to be talking all things Switchback and getting terrified in the process. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> now, from my notes, what I've got here is that I should expect to be in the front seat on a sinister roller coaster from hell. Is that where we're going? Yes. Okay, cool. Do you want to give us a little bit more about the story before I run away screaming? Although this might add to me running away screaming, let's see. So we start with you as the player, visiting your sister that you haven't seen for a long time. You're heading to New York on a train. It's kind of October, it's night. So far, so good. <laughs> so you're surrounded by people that are you know, traveling with you, like in a normal train. And then suddenly, you kind of go fade to black. You hear kind of a big ruckus all around you. And then you kind of see a light, kind of like an ending of, of a tunnel. You're getting out and you're in a roller coaster. The, basically, the game takes place in a nightmare that goes from one to the next. Now and then, you'll wake up mm -hmm. and you'll be underneath the train. You had a train accident and you're waiting for no, the rescue no. to come to you. Maybe. Oh, lovely. But, <laughs> but you're not there alone. You have a demon there with you called Belial and she's gonna basically hunt you and show you kind of your worst nightmares mm -hmm. on that roller coaster ride that you, you're in, trying to basically make you give up life and drag you to hell with her. Give up life? <laughs> okay, we're gonna jump into the game. We're gonna be looking at Into the Heart, which is one of the levels that you guys have graciously created for us, where we will be dragged from the burning train into a terrifying world based on the Dark Pictures anthology. Yes. Lovely. Many nightmares to come. Let's go. Yes. This is amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God, it's amazing. I'm doing it. Ah! I got it. <laughs> wow. I am starting to feel like I'm actually, oh f Tell me about the don't blink doors and how you've used this innovative technology to scare the life out of people. So thank you to the PlayStation VR 2 technology, the eye tracking. We can see if you're blinking or how, or where you're looking at. So these enemy, the mannequins, what they do is like, they only move when you blink. So if you start blinking, they keep changing positions, getting closer, being more of them, maybe activating and attacking you. So if you can keep your eyes open, maybe you'll be safe, but who can? I mean, if the thing is, I don't think I believe you. I don't think I will be safe. I don't think that's an option. <laughs> well, you'll have to play and see. <laughs> ah! I didn't get off my chair. But this is not the only time you'll see these mannequins. You'll see another version of that mannequin that won't work with Blink, that will work with eye tracking, completely different way as well. Okay, so once you've gotten to grips with a potential enemy, you're then having to forget everything you've learnt for the, the next time you encounter them. Exactly. Great! <laughs> Easy. Yeah, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Whoa, whoa! Okay, okay, cool. Why is it going so fast? <gasps> And with Switchback VR, how have you utilised the PlayStation VR 2's haptic feedback? As I said to you at the beginning, we want it to feel like you're there. So, for example, when you're going up a kind of a hill on a roller coaster, you will feel that tac 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 in the hands. When the wind goes by, you'll feel it in your hands. But the same token, you'll feel as well some enemies maybe touching your hand. Or when you shoot, you'll feel that kick from the uh, different guns as well. So we're trying to make you feel like your hands are there, you are there. 
And is it kind of connected to, don't want to give any spoilers, but I saw you ducking through a meat tube earlier. <laughs> so is that also connected to yeah, the, the so feedback? Yes, so the uh, headset has a rumble. Okay. And um, if you do not dock things on time, you'll feel it in your head. Uh, if okay. the hand is passing through you, you'll feel that hand on you'll your head. You'll know about it. So again, it's all about getting the feeling of, you're there, this is you, yeah. there's no one else. Super immersive. Exactly. <laughs> Could you tell us about the spatial audio as well? So we're using the uh, PlayStation VR 2 spatial audio in a very interesting and different way. So, for example, when you get an enemy getting closer to you on the right or even from the back, you're going to know how far or close that enemy is. So you can make kind of judgment calls on which one to shoot first. But not only on actions, but as well on horror. When someone is whispering on your right and goes to your left, so you'll get a lot more feeling of being there, like the wind passing through you. So you can have a lot more detail in every single moment of the game. Wow. Okay, how does Switchback VR fit in with the Dark Pictures timeline? We are a spin-off. We are an own story um, that happens kind of outside the story of Dark Pictures. Mm -hmm. And we are in the space in between the first and the second season. Okay. where you will see the curator and like Valial, he's always there. Mm. Maybe I've not noticed. as appearing, but he's always there, always watching. Mm. Always keeping an eye on your story. Probably from over your shoulder, you don't even realise it. Woo! And um, all of the other pictures you're playing different characters and, you know, choices and they get to maybe die or not die. In this case it is you who's taking the action, you're not seeing someone else playing it with you. So if you do not oh, dug, if you do not shoot, you die. However, like in that pictures, we do have choices. Our choices are different. So every time you go through different sections on the level, you'll find arches where you can choose which section of the track you want to see. Maybe you want to see a spooky house or a nice diner. Or maybe you want to go down into a well of blood or you prefer to go to a place full of skulls. Mm -hmm. Now down to you to where you want to see or what you want to see. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but now and then you'll find trapping this uh, kind of nightmare, some of the passengers you've seen. Mm -hmm. Do you save them? Do you leave them there? Or you maybe do something else to quick their deaths? Okay. You know, and it's down to you and if you can figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. It's not as simple as shooting and they get released, there's something else going on. So you're really, it's almost like you're taking Rush of Blood and, and bringing in all of these elements from, from the other games and, and a little bit of that choice consequence type situation. But yeah, as you say, this is, this is on you, the player, to get through on your own. Exactly. Cool. It's your story. <laughs> it's cool. So whilst we're talking about the specifics whilst in-game, could you tell me a little bit about the adaptive triggers? So we're using the adaptive triggers to simulate the trigger of the different guns that we have. We have a lot of guns, so each one of them will have its own unique resistance. Mm -hmm. For example, when you get the shotgun, that's going to be very hard to squeeze, but when you do it, you'll get a very good satisfaction. Or when you get the revolver, that kick on that is going to be very amazing. So we have plenty of different weapons, like a grenade launcher, or even sometimes you may even get the gun from Valian towards the oh. end. Oh, well and that's a sneaky little hint, okay. And each one of them will have its own unique feeling, not only about the adaptive triggers, but about the haptic feedback each one of them will give you. Okay, and would you say there are certain weapons to utilize in certain spaces? Yes. Okay. So we have, for example, our UV light, that's given to you to reveal some sections on the level where that's where you need to shoot at. So you have to combine one normal handgun with that kind of UV light, which has batteries, the batteries run out. So you need to be very careful. There's so many things to think about. There's so much happening. This is amazing. The Dark Pictures Switchback VR is coming to PlayStation VR 2 soon. And you can get hold of some exclusive extras if you pre-order now, including a Skull and Bones cart, two exclusive guns, and a fearsome bobblehead guy. Alejandro, thank you so much for joining us and giving us some insight on the game. 
Thank you, Lauren, for trying the game. Hopefully it's not going to give you too many nightmares. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be just fine. That was amazing. I know, I, I know you've seen it before. That is amazing. It's amazing. Thank you.